All right, so Run of the Mill by George Harrison. This is from All Things Must Pass, 1970. And this has always been one of my favorite songs of George's. Probably, you know, a little bit more less known than his big songs, but I always just really love this song. And it was written during the um, breakup of the Beatles, obviously, right? There's a lot of references to um, sort of the dysfunction and animosity between those guys towards the end. Uh, but it's also kind of got, you know, some really uh, beautiful kind of spiritual overtones too, as did a lot of George's music, because that's, you know, that's where he was at. Anyways, um, if you click that eye up there in the corner, or the link in the description box, or the first pen comment, it'll take you to my website. And I'll, you know, I always do a little article on these songs, and I'll leave a link to um, a version of this song from his Early Takes album which was released a few years ago. It's just basically a bunch of demos of his more famous songs. And this one is in there, and it's a, it's a really raw uh, demo of him playing. That's kind of cool to hear. Anyways, let's get into it. So we're in standard tuning, got the capo on the seventh, and that's actually a D chord, but I'm gonna call it a G and a D. That's gonna call these chords by what you're used to seeing them. Okay, and we're gonna start like this. Um, and there's quite a few guitar parts on the um, original recording and you know then they're sort of overshadowed with all those horn lines which I like you know but I also really like these guitar parts I think just on their own they're just beautiful okay so um, the higher guitar part is gonna go like this so we're just kind of like two down strokes on that G chord and then We've got the high E string and the B string. And then to an E minor. Okay, but there's a low part and it goes. It's like the D string to the G string. And then when you go to the E minor, you hammer on that uh, D2. And on my demo, I doubled this guitar part, and but that's the only part that's different. The rest is identical. So you can pick which one you want to do there. You might want to do a high one or a low one, or you could go you know, a combination of them, right? And now we've got this slick, and this slick is also uh, layered. There's multiple guitars on it, but the main guitar goes like this. So we're going to hammer on from B1 to B3 and play that E string. Like, I'm not sure exactly what he's doing, but that's what I do. Uh, I'm hitting that open E string on all of those notes. And then uh, G2, G open. And then D4. just so awesome um, and if we let all those strings ring you know it just sounds beautiful um, and then we're gonna go so we got like a C shape chord and just A string D string G string and then we've got like an E minor but we're going A string D string B string G string that D chord. D string, G string, E string, B string. Right? So. And the timing on this bit is, is really, it's, it's wacky. Um, the song is two bars of 4-4 four, four, and then three bars of 3-4. And then we go back to 4-4. Four, four. Okay, so I'm going to... 
I'll play it and then I'll overdub me counting because for some reason I can't count and play this bit at the beginning. Okay, so the count will be like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. 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 You should know that there are bars three, four in there, but once you know that, don't count. Like just play the licks, you know. Um, just get into the feel of the licks. Okay, so that, while that one guitar is going. Right, there's another guitar going. So it's just just hammering on that G2 with the D string. Now, you know, if you're playing this on your own, obviously that's kind of irrelevant, but I just thought I'd show you what's going on with the layering. Okay, so... And then we do this lick. which is just a hammer on, you know, like you're gonna hold that shape, take your middle finger off, and hammer on um, D2 from open, and then A2. And then we just hang on that D for a while, just kind of up and down. And we finish off with just G, um, 3, G2, um, down to B3, B1 open, and then G2, G open. And then we're going to get into the next bit, which is... Okay, and then we're back into the verse. So that bit, again, the timing is a little bit crazy on that. I'll just go over the chords. It's like an A minor to a B7 and then an E minor to an E7, All right? Then back to the A minor, B7, and now we've got a C and a B7, but then B7 over the A, and then we're back into the verse. And the timing on this is, again, a little crazy because there's a bar 3-4 thrown in there. What's interesting is the first time there's bars of 3-4, but the second time, it's all 4-4. Four, four. <laughs> okay, so the count on that would be like this. A 
okay? A little bit crazy, right? And it takes a little getting used to dropping that note, you know, at the end of the, the end of the bar. And then we go back and And that is really all the parts. Um, it's really a matter of getting the timing. The second time we go through this, we, we just do it straight, just four, four. So one, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. Okay, so it's just the first time we do the three, four. And that's, you know, something that George and John actually did a lot of. They just would drop in these bars of 3-4. And I really don't think it was by design. It was just kind of the way they were feeling it. Okay, so now I'll just quickly go over um, the melody I picked. I'm not going to get too crazy on this. Because if you get the tab, too, like I'll have a tab for this. You know, you'll be able to see it there. But I'll just quickly go over what I did on the melody. So it's just the open G string up to the high E string. And then it's... hammering on that G2 while hitting the B string. Sliding up to G4. Really super simple. Which way you should turn? Now, you know, on the record it's down low. But when I was recording my demo, it just didn't sound good down there, so I did it higher. And on the early takes first that I talked about before. Uh, he actually plays that on guitar while he sings it. So he kind of goes... But on the original recording... There's that. You know, that line. Then we get into... Um, <laughs> okay, and that part there is... It's kind of cool because we're going from that E minor to the E7. Uh, so we're going minor third to major third. And the melody is kind of in between both of those. So I'm kind of bending on that. Um, for fifth fret of the D string down to um, D2. Then Okay, and you know, that's kind of what's happening there. It's fairly simple stuff. It's just a matter of, um, you know, learning it, basically. All right, so that's it for this one. Beautiful song by George Harrison. I've been meaning to do more of his stuff because... Um, you know, he, he really is an underrated, always has been, underrated songwriter. Just He always comes up with really interesting uh, things musically. Um, and I always really enjoy uh, working on his music. All right, so I hope you get something from this tutorial. I hope you enjoy playing the song. And we'll talk to you next time.